It was a sweltering, sensual, hot and steamy night in Antwerp City. Earlier that day, a dame in a red dress came to my office, smoking a cigarette like she was making out with the filter. She had hired me to find a man that went missing after he found out that music for him was more than a dream. It had become a hunger, a passion that needed to be fulfilled now, and not a minute later. All I knew was that he wore thick black glasses, and she had given me two names too. His first name, Marcel, and Starman Records. Three 